This is the video for Lesson 17 on my website, Word Problems Involving Division. As I've mentioned in previous lessons, many students have tremendous difficulty doing word problems. The way to get better at them is just by doing as many of them as you can, and over time they'll begin to get easier and easier. In this particular lesson, we're being told that all the problems involve division. Normally, though, you won't be given that information, and you'll have to figure out on your own what operation to use based on keywords and key phrases that you see in the problems. Let's take a look at this first problem. Brian has 20 apples. He wants to share them equally between himself and three of his friends. How many apples will each person get? Now, the first thing I notice is the word share. He's going to share something that usually implies division and in particular he's going to share them equally. Okay, let's keep reading. He's going to share them between himself and three of his friends. Now here we just have to be careful. He's actually, he's actually sharing the apples among four people. He himself counts as one and three of his friends. What we do for this problem is we simply do 20 divided by 4. Himself plus his three friends and we get five as the answer. Each person will get five apples. We could get this either by knowing our multiplication and division facts, or we could use a multiplication table and basically ask ourselves four times what number will give us 20. And then we can see from that that the answer is five. Let's take a look at the next problem. When 32 is divided by four, what is the quotient? Well, of course, divided by tells us that we're going to be dividing but even if we didn't see that, it's important to know what the word quotient means. The quotient is simply the answer that we get when we do a division problem. So in this problem, we'll do 32 divided by 4. And knowing my multiplication and division facts, I know that the answer is 8. If I wasn't sure, I could look in a multiplication table and just ask myself, 4 times what number will give me 32? And the answer is 8, so that's our answer to this problem. This is just a very basic lesson with some word, problem, word problems involving division. In later lessons, we'll take a look at more complicated word problems involving other operations.